Hi there and welcome to another free Google Ads training video with your host Barry Smith. Today I want to run you through how to structure your Performance Max campaigns. Now I'm sure you're already aware of what a Performance Max campaign is, that's why you're here. So we'll jump straight into how the structure should look like. In front of you is an image of my winning Performance Max campaign structure. This is how I set up or restructure Performance Max campaigns for optimal success on Google Ads in 2023. And the first thing that will jump out to many of my viewers is the number of campaigns that I have there. Now this varies from client to client. It could be three campaigns, four, five, six, ten. It just depends on the number of products they have. Now I highlight this straight away because I've audited several accounts over the past year or so where the client has just one performance max campaign. All of their products and asset groups have been shoved into that one campaign despite having a variety of products to sell. Now take for example a jewellery company. They could sell rings, necklaces, bracelets, earrings, etc, etc. Why would you want images and ad text for wedding rings shown for a potential customer who has searched for a silver necklace, for example? Are they going to click on your ad? Are they going to skip the video ad? Because I can assure you, you'll get less click-throughs if that's the case, which is potentially a lost customer, a missed opportunity, and a customer gain for one of your competitors. So look at my structure in front of you. Campaign one could be rings, two could be necklaces, campaign three for earrings, and so on. And that's also very useful for budgeting. To begin with, you may give all your campaigns a £100 a day budget, for example. But after a few weeks, you may notice that the necklaces campaign has a significantly higher return on ad spend than the rest of them. What are you going to do? You're going to put more budget towards that, aren't you? Whereas if you have just one campaign with all your products in, then you can't dedicate more of that budget towards the necklaces, can you? So that's another big reason why I structure my account like this. And just for the record, every single one of those clients is I audited and won the work from, the ROI for every single one of them increased after I switched their structure from one campaign to my structure. So that's the campaign structure. Beneath each of them, you'll see I have more than one asset group in each. This is not always the case. It could be one asset group, two, three, four. It depends again on the products. So if we go back to our example of a jewellery website and our necklaces campaign, we may want to split the asset groups up into silver and gold necklaces, for example. So asset group one could be silver necklaces, images of silver necklaces, some of the ad copies saying silver necklaces, silver necklaces from £100, silver necklaces sale now on, etc, etc. Then asset group two, you do the same for gold, images of your gold necklaces and ad copy for that range. In fact, you may even want to create a campaign for each of those. Think of gold necklaces as the campaign. The asset groups could be yellow gold, white gold, uh, rose gold, 10 karat gold, 24 karat gold. Don't just shove all your products into one campaign is the lesson here. And this works for all niches, by the way. Clothes is another good example. Why put all your products into one campaign when someone interested in purchasing shorts is going to want to see completely different ad copy and images to your coats campaign? Again, this will play a huge role in your click-through rate and conversions. So if we go back to the image in front of us, beneath the asset groups are the products and or keywords. So we've got our 24 karat gold asset group. Within there we select all our 24 karat gold products. Then we get onto the ad assets. These are your headlines, long headlines, descriptions, images and videos. And because our asset group is so niche, we don't need to create five generic headlines such as view our line of products or free delivery. We can expect a much greater click-through rate by having headlines such as 24 karat gold necklaces or 24k gold necklaces from a thousand pounds. Which ad are you going to click on? The one that says view our product range or 24 karat gold necklaces? I know which one I'm going to be clicking on. And similarly, your images. You may only have five photos of your 24 karat gold necklaces. That's still better than having a variety of products across 20 images with all your products in one campaign. You don't know which is going to show up. Today's video is as short and sweet as that. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you will have learned how to structure your performance max campaigns moving forward. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. Thank you again for joining me and I'll be back with more videos in the near future.